Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency have intercepted 2,060 kilograms of assorted drugs, including heroin, methamphetamine, cannabis, tramadol, and refinol in Lagos, Ondo, Edo, Kano, Kaduna, and Plateau states. According to a statement released on Sunday by the NDLA Director of Media and Advocacy, Femi Baba Femi, two consignments of heroin weighing 4.40 kg and 550 grams were intercepted on October 6th and 15th, respectively, at the cargo shed of the Mutala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos State. The first consignment was discovered inside bags of granulated sugar and flour from Johannesburg, South Africa, via Addis Ababa to Lagos on an Ethiopian airline flight. At number four, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission detained a former secretary to the government of the Federation, Ayim Pius Ayim, on Sunday, in connection with the ongoing probe of the former Minister of Aviation, Senator Stella Odwa. It was gathered that Aim was interrogated for several hours in connection with 780 million naira, which was traced to a company in which he was a director. The former Senate President and SGF reportedly arrived at the EFCC office in the afternoon on Sunday and was squeezed for over six hours. His detention is coming days after Stella Odwa was indicted in the Pandora Papers as one of the top 10 Nigerians hiding their wealth in tax havens. At number three, the governor of Oyo State, Shei Makinde, has ordered that closed circuit television cameras be installed in all the correctional facilities in the state following the recent attack on the facility. The governor gave the order on Sunday when he visited the Obolongo Correctional Center, Oyo, which was attacked on Friday night by unknown gunmen. It was gathered that during the attack, about 1,000 inmates were freed. Although a prison official said 262 of the inmates have been recaptured. Mackinde, while inspecting the facility after the attack, directed that the security cameras be linked with the state security situation room. At number two, Nigeria recorded 26 additional deaths and 165 new COVID-19 infections on Sunday. The new update was given by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. The new infections has pushed the total number of cases recorded in the country to 210,000 460 and total number of deaths to 2,882. The new cases were reported across nine states including the Federal Capital Territory. However, the health agency noted that Lagos State and the FCT reported backlogs of fatalities and infections. While Lagos State reported a backlog of 23 deaths for October 18th, 19th, 20th and 23rd, 2021, the FCT reported three deaths for October 23rd, 2021. At number one, President Muhammad Buhari will formally inaugurate the Nigerian Central Bank digital currency known as e Naira, today, October 25th. CBN had earlier scheduled the launch for October 1st, but postponed it, citing lined up events for Nigeria's independence anniversary. Confirming the new launch date in a statement on Saturday, CBN spokesman Osita Nwani Siobi said the launch will take place at the State House Abuja on Monday. He said, following a series of engagements with relevant stakeholders, including the banking community, fintech operators, merchants, and indeed a cross-section of Nigerians, the CBN designed the digital currency, which shall be activated on Monday, October 25, 2021. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.